हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मुकेश वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू लाइक वॉट माई अप्रोच और माई रोड मैप वुड बी इफ आई स्टार्ट एज अ क्लाउड इंजीनियर टूडे सो बेसिकली डेट मीन्स इफ आई स्टार्ट माई जर्नी और माई करियर ओके एज अ क्लाउड इंजीनियर फ्रॉम टूडे and uh, my target is off for next 2 to 3 months what would be my approach and what would be my road map so we are going to discuss all these things so uh, since i was getting uh, continuously messages and comments from you uh, like uh, many of the peoples on like uh, what will be the like your approach <laughs> so this video is totally on that so this is a kind of a traditional road map video okay so please watch full video so you can understand what strategy you could use if you want to become a aws cloud expert in next 60 days okay that would be about 2 uh, months so if i have to learn aws cloud in 2024 so this is the first thing that i would uh, i would to it uh, in a step by step so this will be a kind of a step by step in first step what would be my approach and in second step what would be my approach so let's discuss on that particular part <coughs> so first of all the step 1 will uh, be like what and why and how like what is cloud aws cloud okay what is uh, like we have to learn what is aws cloud and uh, another thing is why why means like why aws cloud is famous in the organization or why it is famous and why it is being adopted by the uh, like the organizations or the companies okay and the third is how means ki how it is being used in an organization or any of the company like how they are using this particular service okay so i would suggest you don't do not jump directly to learn the aws cloud services or uh, creating the configuration files or doing unnecessary things that will create a mess so step by step why i am saying uh, if you learn what and why of any tool or technology you will get the fundamental or the background of that particular thing okay so step 2 will be uh, start with aws service that is ec2 instance service okay like what is the service everything this is about okay and using this service you could be good to create a server and start learning a particular uh, operating system that is linux so while i am starting with ec2 because our goal is like our next step will be to learn linux okay so uh in the third step in second step i we have discussed to learn the particular service that is ec2 okay that is not much big deal okay uh, one day two day maximum and you will be good enough to know about the ec2 instance okay and after that my third approach will be third step will be learning linux okay in cloud linux is a must because you know like uh, you already know windows okay and but why linux okay so due to security point of view linux is best okay in the organization the people are considering linux okay as compared to windows so first learn how to create a linux machine nowadays it is much easier with aws console or any of the cloud provider okay recommendation is uh, like uh, aws why because aws has a larger market capture and more job opportunities okay so in this step aws uh, only uh, learn how to create linux machine as if now okay Wha uh, after that i would uh, like understand and learn the basic uh, some basic commands linux commands means like uh, similar wise if you have a windows machine if you know how to operate it same okay so like how do you create a directory uh, in a, a particular that operating system linux okay how do you are installing application checking the cpu percentage ram okay memory disk utilization so that i would be uh, learning in linux okay <clears throat> and that is also much easier nowadays as compared to previous okay 
and my next step that will be step four will be in step four uh, i will be start uh, learning the other services of aws okay once i have uh, learned the aws ec2 instance the rest of the AWS services will be coming into the picture so the next service that is important i would learn about the vpc okay how what is vpc why vpc came into picture how do we create what are the components of vpc like subnet root table okay internet gateway nat gateway how we are using vpc pairing aws transit gateway okay private ip public ip everything i will learn okay i will note note it down in a point voice and the another service that is very important that is storage okay like uh, s3 bucket what is bucket and what is uh, uh, like other components of the s3 okay and what is the use of s3 what are the different types of storage services available in uh, uh, s3 bucket okay and after that i will learn auto scaling what is the auto scaling why it is used all in all the services why uh, uh, use that particular three things okay why what and how okay what is auto scaling why auto scaling is important and how we can implement auto scaling in our particular application okay load balancer what is load balancer why load balancer is important and how we can use load balancer application load balancer there are multiple load balancer we can deep dive into that particular application uh, particular learning okay sns what is sns why sns is important and how we can implement how we can use this particular service cloud front cloud formation okay cloud watch and cloud trail okay and route 53 what is route 53 it is alternative to dns okay and why route 53 is required why the name is route 53 okay because of the dns okay port number 53 and what is im role policies lambda function okay these services are very very important only if you have learned these particular services you are like you achieved almost 90 percent of your journey okay rest of the services are not like not majorly asked or not majorly used but these services like they think like the interviewer will think or uh that is obvious like obviously you should be knowing these particular services okay once you have done with these services the next step like that that is uh, step five that is very very important okay that is get hands on or scenario basis task okay that a cloud engineer uh, does in his daily okay life okay so you should be aware about like what is the what are the major tasks or the incidents or the things that a particular AWS engineer is doing on his daily basis okay and apart from this uh, you should be like in this particular thing uh, you should be aware about like how he is uh, fixing those issues or how he is uh, doing that particular task okay what his approach is so that you should be not only on a theory basis but on the practical side as well you should be very much confident on that part so you can do lab practicals okay and what what is the most critical task that uh, a cloud engineer is having in his uh, particular day-to-day uh, -day life or uh, whatever like uh, you should be aware about that like if uh, someone can ask you like what is the most critical task that you have handled okay and you must be aware about like the what is the roles and responsibility or, or a day to day activity of a cloud engineer how he is starting his day and how he is ending his day okay how many incidents and what type of incidents he is doing you must be aware about this okay so now a question is coming into your mind like from where you could find these particular things like how uh, you could learn this from or how you could find these particular topics okay so don't worry in this channel uh, aws with linux we have covered all the topics and we have a separate playlist for everything for uh, like aws services we have aws okay a particular playlist and for linux thing we have a separate play playlist uh, that is linux and also we have a interview questions playlist in that uh, we are uploading a date like on a regular basis uh, whatever and apart from these particular aws services and linux things a uh, few more questions or few more particular um, services are required 
like a ticketing tool what type of ticketing tool you are using whether it is jira service now that i will be also uh, like uh, googling that particular part i will be searching uh, that particular things what are those services and how we are using what is splunk okay what are the different types of monitoring tool in the market but people will not focus more on that but you must be aware about that particular technologies as well okay what is git what is docker okay because nowadays uh, like people are moving okay developing new technologies so you should be aware about that so i will also add that particular services in this particular roadmap as well okay once i have completed these particular services i will start uh, like uh, le learning about or uh, i would like kind of a good to know information okay i will do not skip that particular services as well i will just go through that what are the different tools are available in the market okay that is required yeah so that's it um that would be my road match or uh, road map or my approach so if i would uh, like to start my career as a uh, aws cloud engineer okay in 2024 and uh, i also get lots of comments uh, people are asking like um, or calling me like they are asking me ki Uh, they are from the different background, or what uh, they are from the QA side, or they are from the developer. Whether they can switch uh, to AWS Cloud side or not. So my answer to everyone is, you can. Okay, it doesn't matter which background you are coming from. Okay, simple answer is like if you have a technical knowledge. Okay, you have a basic uh, like uh, uh, understanding about the cloud or basic understanding of about the IT. doesn't matter you are working as a it service desk help desk or remote it support engineer linux guy okay qa automation okay any uh, database network whatever field you are coming from uh, okay because aws has all these uh, prospectives in this particular uh, in the, in this particular console okay whatever background you are coming from aws has that particular services okay in the in his particular console if you are coming from the network background it has the vpc and uh, okay uh, vpc and other routing stuffs in his services if you are coming from the database it has the database part as well if you are coming from this uh, developer side it has a developer tool as well so it doesn't matter okay it matters like if you are willing to switch your domain okay if you want to adopt okay and uh, uh, if you want to upgrade yourself okay so you you can okay you can simple answer is yes you can move to this okay all right uh, that's it from my side thank you for watching this video okay please do comment and if you have any queries or if you have any questions or doubts okay and uh, please do comments i will reach back to you thank you so much